welcome to LACC TV. I'm QB. And I'm Diego Rivera, here with our top story of the night. A little bit of hope has arrived from Northern California as two storms are predicted to happen this week. Sacramento City Fire Captain Keith Wade said that the rain itself won't be enough to put out the fires, but will moisten the ground, thereby slowing the spread of the flames. Captain Wayne also warns that the rain can make it more difficult to move fire trucks and other important equipment. The first storm is predicted to hit on Wednesday and the second storm is expected to hit on Friday. The wildfires are tragic from LA to the Bay. The fires were deadly and a lot of people, celebrities like Kim Kardashian, Nick Cannon, rapper YG and more lost their homes. Many people were forced to evacuate and left wondering where and if they will have some place to come back to. Witnesses saw the hot flames and saw many houses burning down. In Malibu, they were sending boats over to help the evacuates. People have been opening up their homes to the community so that they, the people who don't have a home will have a nice Thanksgiving. Joaquin El Chapo Guzman allegedly had a rival cartel leader's brother killed after he didn't shake his hand in, in a meeting in 2007. This claim comes from Jesus Zambada, who has been testifying Guzman's drug trafficking trial since last week. The Sinaloa cartel and the Juarez cartel formed an alliance that ended in a turf war when Guzman allegedly had Rodolfo Fuentes killed. Vicente Fuentes, Rodolfo's brother, then had, young, then had Guzman's younger brother, Arturo, killed as an act of revenge. Former first lady and philanthropist, Michelle Obama is currently on a 10-city book tour, promoting her best-selling memoir, Becoming. On the second stop of the tour, Michelle Obama visited the Los Angeles Forum for Becoming, an intimate conversation with Michelle Obama. The sold-out event was moderated by Tracy Ellis Ross. Attendees had the chance to hear Ms. Obama discuss in personal detail events that helped shape the Becoming memoir. 10% of the ticket sales proceeds are all going to local charities. Early in the day, the former first lady stopped by an early childhood development program on Skid Row to read to the students and give them all free books to take home. Be sure to, take, to check out the, dog, the first dog cafe here in LA. You can grab a coffee, hang out with a bunch of cute cuddly pups. The best part is if you happen to fall in love with any of these dogs, they are ready to be adopted. While some guests came to looking to ad adopt a foster dog, others came to relax and enjoy their time, maybe even partaking in some doggy yoga. The Dog Cafe in LA is, pr is committed to being a safer place for these dogs until they find their forever homes. November is National Adopt a Senior Pet Month, so a little reminder that your future fairy companion might just be in waiting for you to stop by. Reporter John Paul Puno visited the historic Route 66 unveiling in Beverly Hills. The city of Beverly Hills unveils its newly reconstructed Santa Monica Boulevard at a ribbon-cutting ceremony presided by Mayor Julian Gold and city council members. So first off, the boulevard is old and it needed help. The infrastructure was gone, the drainage was bad. Well, we inherited, if you will, Santa Monica Boulevard from the state and it was in not a very good state. In fact, when you would drive through Beverly Hills, this was probably the only street that have potholes. And so the whole idea was more or less to completely fix it up, to bring it up to Beverly Hills standards, and of course with the addition, which was important to me, of bike lanes. So we now connect bike lanes to West Hollywood and Los Angeles on the other side. It's very exciting. I think it's amazing. Uh, it's a testament to a lot of hard work by a lot of local advocates, by our city council, uh, the Blue Ribbon Committee. It's a really key piece connecting basically Hollywood to the beach now. I love it. When I drive, it just stands out. There's no other place that I've seen anything like this. I think it's marvelous. They've been putting so much money, time and effort into making Beverly Hills even more beautiful. Everything now has new sewers, new electrical, new street surfaces. Everything moving forward should be really, really smooth for the city and the future. The roadway was closed for 18 months as the estimated $30 million project went underway. The traffic and parking impacts of this project were actually handled pretty well because we were able to uh, plan for South Santa Monica uh, to be able to take some of the traffic off the North Santa Monica to the south. And the fact that the uh, project was done in multiple phases, it moved very smoothly and the traffic impact on the community was minimal. They took very good care of what could have been an absolute mess. Cities have to keep 
fixing themselves. You know, infrastructure doesn't last forever. In Beverly Hills, we're very fortunate that we have sufficient funds that we can keep going with our infrastructure. It gives hope and excitement and, and uh, joy uh, to see that Beverly Hills is continuing to grow. There's really nowhere like Beverly Hills. It's the community feel, everyone helps everybody. That's what's special about Beverly Hills. The world's most famous zip code, Beverly Hills enjoys a world-class reputation as the home and playground to the stars. This is John Paul Puno reporting for LACC TV. Now back to the studio. Stick around after the break. Barbie returns to commemorate the passing of a film icon. And Tiffany Young has a health update just in time for flu season. Stay tuned. You've messed up your son's haircut. Mom? Mm -hmm. Do you A, try to fix it? Like it never happened. B, work with what you got. Or C, show solidarity. Thank you, babe. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Welcome back to LACC TV. Barbie returns to the studio to pay a to pay a tribute to a Hollywood icon. Stan Lee was 95 years old. A legend created the Marvel superhero movies and animations. Stan Lee loved his work. He once said he would never retire because of the love he had for his work. He made characters that people can relate to for 50 years and now and forever. Stan Lee had lots of love for humanity. He was a superhero, just like the superheroes he created. Stan Lee appeared in most of the Marvel movies as himself, including Spider-Man, Iron Man, and the Hawk. Black Panther featured a black superhero from Oakland. The Black Panthers, the movie was filmed and portrayed. The Black Panther movement started by Huey P. Newton in Oakland, California. On November 13, 2018, Stan Lee passed, leaving us legends like Spider-Man, The Hawk, Iron Man, Black Panther, and more to live on forever. And thanks to Stan Lee, we will forever have Comic-Con. Rest in peace, RIP Stan Lee. LeBron James returns home to Cleveland tonight when the Cavaliers take on the Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron made to move to LA in the summer after his contract ended. This isn't the first time for, uh, he faces his former team. Back in 2010, he, joined, he had just joined the Miami Heat and did not have a warm welcome back. But their circumstances are different. It better not be, James said when asked if he thought that the same hate would be demonstrated this time. LeBron won the NBA championship in 2016. The United States men na national team had their final, game, final two games of 2018. The U.S. took on England at Wembley Stadium, suffering a 3-0 loss. Then took on Italy and Belgium, and then they lost 1-0. <clears throat> the team will be back in late January, but the opponent has not been confirmed yet. The holidays are a great time to donate or volunteer in helping make someone's life a bit more merry and bright. While some choose to donate to their favorite charities, not everyone can afford to give a, a monetary donation. But don't let those empty pockets discourage you from helping others. We've compiled a short list of three ways to give back. Donate your gently used season appropriate clothing to a shelter or your local city college. Contact shelters and student governments directly to determine if they're accepting donations. Volunteer to help to serve or help cook and clean for a Feed the Homeless Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner. Check out the Los Angeles Midnight Missions for more information regarding their holiday feeding events. Get together with a group of friends and do a food, clothing, or coat drive and donate to a local agency. Looking for resources this holiday season? 211 is your go-to spot. For assistance with everything from help with housing and utilities, employment opportunities, natural disaster information, crises intervention, intervention or if you need food, 211 phone lines are open 24 7 to assist you. If you're calling outside your local area, there's an 800 number, 800 339 
6993. Remember, your call is confidential. You can also check them out on the web at www.211la.org. It's the busiest time of the year, and with elections now passed, Tiffany Young takes a closer look at healthcare, a topic that many tend to put on the back burner. Every semester, college students pay a health fee. But do students know what the health fee covers? Let's go find out. Do you know what the health fee covers? No, I don't. Do you know what the health fee covers? Um, I know that it covers like a general physical, but other than that, I don't know what else it covers. Do you know that there's a health center on campus? Uh, no. The Los Angeles City College Health and Wellness Center is located on the south side of the Student Services Building and is open Monday through Friday. Walk-ins are welcome. To be successful, we, people forget that you need emotional intelligence. You need to learn how to get along with people, right? That's not, not a class they teach on campus, right? It's so rewarding for me to see that I'm able to make a positive difference in their lives. And sometimes we're not talking about physical illness. Sometimes it could be um, mental health issues. Besides having a friendly and welcoming staff, the center offers basic primary care, preventative health information and screening, tests, immunizations, physicals, and mental health counseling. Sometimes someone will come in here, they're depressed, they're sad, they don't know what to do, and as we talk about what they can do, all of a sudden a, a glimmer of hope comes in, right? Oh, this is doable. And like, oh, of course it's doable, you can do this. And when they leave, and I go, how are you feeling? Because I'm feeling much better. I mean, that feels really great to me. Staff members are committed to students' success and encourage them to stop by the center at any time. Committed to changing the way we view mental health and making a difference? This is Tiffany Young for LACC TV. The holidays can be an exciting time, but did you know it's the most dangerous time of the year? Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Day, and New Year's Day have the highest automobile fatality rates of the year. It's important to monitor guests, especially if they're consumed alcohol, and make sure everyone is safe to drive. Other hazards, including choking, injuries related to putting up decorations, fire, and food poisoning. Many times, food preparation can begin early in the day, and items can be left out for hours, or certain meats or veggies aren't properly washed, which can lead to serious food-related illnesses. Holidays are meant to be a happy time, so make sure you take precaution that these hazards are hazards and stay prepared. Barbie joins us one more time to tell us about CBD and its medicinal purposes. CBD saves lives. Marijuana is a plant that has a compound agent that saves lives, cures cancer, stops pain, helps AIDS patients, and relieves arthritis. The CBD is a name of a compound agent inside of the plant, marijuana. CBD is not supposed to get you high and it does not psychologically affect you. A lot of mainstream companies like Coca-Cola is getting involved in the movement. The movement has came a long way. Doctors used to frown on medical marijuana. Now CBD is all types of products, such as soda, juice, water, lip gloss, scrubs, smoothies, candy. They even have lotion, cocoa butter, food, and they even make clothes and houses out of hemp. CBD is a new wave movement that hippies and potheads have been fighting for for years. It will be more years to come before federal regulations and laws will come in effect. This is Swiss Barbie Bone, pop star diva, coming live from LACC TV. Thank you for the update, Barbie. When we return, LACC TV has an update on the box office hits. Stay tuned, we'll be back after this quick break. Have you ever wished you had time to balance work, life, and working out? Health reporter Tiffany Young invites fitness trainer Gina Fay to talk about finding that balance. If you've never made fitness a part of your life and aren't sure where to start, my guest today can help with that right in the comfort of your own home. She's a fitness trainer and YouTuber on a mission to spreading the gift of health. I have Gia Fay here. 
Hi. Hi. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting Thank me. Thank you for coming <laughs> sitting through all that traffic. <laughs> yes, LA could be yes. very exhausting. That's where you have to practice the mental muscles to keep your calm. Okay. <laughs> okay, I like that. All right, so for those of you who do not know Gia, um, tell us how you got your start. Has fitness always been a part of your life? Fitness has definitely been ingrained in me since I was a little girl. Uh, my dad played soccer growing up, watching him play every Sunday. It was definitely something that I felt like it was part of everyday life. And eventually I played soccer all the way up until college. Uh, my first year at Purdue though, I injured my ankle. Ooh. Uh, that made me gain like 25 to 30 pounds. I lost myself in that year because mm -hmm. I went from being an athlete for 17 years to being overweight, unhappy, depressed, having self image issues. And that definitely can make you change your life. Uh, oh. People change for two reasons. It's been for inspiration or for desperation. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> and desperation yeah. is definitely what happened in that oh. first year of trying to build myself back up. But fast forward, you know, 10 years after college, um, I am now doing it full time and helping other women go through that journey of self-discovery. You know, fitness is something way more than exercise. Right. Yeah. Right. It's a lifestyle, isn't it? Like it is. So when you were in that place of um, when you injured yourself and you had put on a lot of weight, how did you did you pick yourself back up? And then at one at what point did you um, record your first video? And were you already training people at that time? So I picked myself back up, you know, within the first couple years after playing soccer, looking to try, I tried a spin class, I tried, a, you know, boot camps. I really fell in love with spinning. And that's why I always tell people, find something you love to do. F mm. Find something that works, number one, and that you love to do, because that's what's gonna help motivate you to keep doing it. Mm. I didn't actually shoot my first YouTube videos for at least a couple years after. After college, I got married pretty soon after. And that marriage was a relationship that completely changed my life. I went into this relationship thinking, this is gonna be my forever and this is gonna complete, complete me and it's gonna make me happy. And it actually did the complete opposite. Mm -hmm. You know, it completely broke me down and it showed me that I really didn't love myself. Even mm. though I worked out, by then I was already working out, I had become more fit there was more to fitness than just looking good. I really didn't have a good self-esteem and I allowed him to treat me in ways that no woman should ever be treated. Mm. But it was what helped me hit rock bottom a little bit after. And that's when YouTube was planted. At that time we called it NewTube. Yeah. <laughs> we had no idea like, what is this? What is this? Who am I talking to? We thought to? it was a myth. People don't really make money on here, yeah. you know? And so I, again, you know, it was, it was brought to my attention that I should make videos on there. I was already a trainer for, you know, a couple years since college. I had been mm -hmm. training people in Hollywood. Uh, I figured that was where you're going to make the most money doing training because mm -hmm. I refused to get a real job. I didn't yeah. want to do corporate America. Yeah. And so I just wanted to do what made me feel good. And what made me feel good was helping these other women get to the place that I got to, which is f acceptance and, and really finding, finding your strength within mm -hmm. using exercise. Because when you exercise, you start to believe you can do hard things. Right. And that's really something that you have to train on an everyday basis to build that. Right. And so eventually when I shot my first YouTube video, I had started with a couple English videos and it did okay, but it wasn't until I realized what I was putting out there, which was I was really talking to other curvy women because not only was I an athlete, but I also had a little extra curves yeah. and I felt like there wasn't representation on the internet, on television, mm -hmm. movies, yeah. except for Jennifer Lopez. Other than that, yeah. there was nothing. And some people wouldn't even call her curvy, you know, like, cause there's, there's curvy women out there that really yes. identified with your content. And I feel like that was your, your niche that you just yes. you gave people what they needed at that time. Exactly. And still need. Yes. <laughs> it's insane when I see how like, your viewers connect with you um, through the comments and when they meet you in real life, I mean, they're like in tears. Like you've given them so much inspiration yeah. to, and just the changes that I've seen with your uh, clients and stuff. I know it's like bringing me into tears just thinking about, you were actually there when I met my first 
you know, YouTube, huge YouTube fan. She won the iPhone giveaway that I had on my channel. Yes. And I mean, I think about that moment again and I just think, you know, her, her tears, I still feel them to this day, you know, yeah. just to be able to be someone's inspiration. For me, I was inspired once and now other women get to be inspired with my story. Okay. So it's exciting. <laughs> well, I love that. Well, thank you so much for coming on to the show. And um, well, where can we find you on, on the internet? Well, I love to post on Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat. Everything's under Body by Gia. I'm just trying to spread light to one person at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you so much again. Yes, thank you. From arts to festivals and shopping, there's something new in L.A. for everyone to check out in the month of December. If you're looking for something exciting and free, check out Grand Park Winter Glow an interactive art exhibit in downtown Los Angeles from December 1st to 25th. For last minute shop holiday shopping, check out Silver Lake's first ever Botanica Community Gift Market. And for you music lovers, there's the Rolling Loud Festival, headlined by Post Malone, Lil Wayne, Cardi B, and Lil Uzi Vert, making its debut in Los Angeles the weekend of December 14th and 15th. The second chapter of the Harry Potter sequel, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, won the box office this weekend by grossing $62 million domestically in its first week. Instant Family and Widows also made their debuts, making $12 million and, and $14 million respectively. Bohemian Rhapsody is also at the top five as it went into its third week, grossing a total of $128 million domestically. The Grinch is also up there after a, after a second week, grossing a total of $128 million. This will be an interesting one as Creed 2, Robin Hood, and Ralph Breaks the Internet come, comes out this Thanksgiving weekend. Thanks for watching LACC TV. Have a safe and happy holiday season.